All right, so one more example here of finding a linear approximation. So here we're going to find the linear approximation for cosine x at x equals pi over 4. All right, so again, if we plug pi over 4 into our function, well, we get cosine of pi over 4, and that's just root 2 over 2. So I know when we do y minus the y-coordinate, the y-coordinate's going to be root 2 over 2, our slope of our line, x minus the x-coordinate, well, the x-coordinate is given to us as pi over 4. To get our slope, we'll have to take the derivative of our function. Well, the derivative of cosine would be negative sine x. If we plug in pi over 4, well, we'll get negative sine of pi over 4. And that's going to be negative root 2 over 2. So now all we have to do is just plug that in. So we have y minus root 2 over 2. The slope of our tangent line, our linearization, will be negative root 2 over 2. Then we'll have x minus pi over 4. And now I'm just going to, you know, uh, just multiply things out a little bit, just uh, get y by itself. So if we distribute, we'll have negative root 2 over 2x. Um, I guess we'll get a positive uh, when we multiply, so we'll have positive root 2 times pi over 2 times 4, which would be 8. We can add the uh, positive, we can add over root 2 over 2. And again, you can get common denominators or whatever you want to do if you want to write your constant as a single term. But again, this is now our line. Um, so this would be our linearization.